Windows 10 is going end of life. And for MSPs, this is a golden opportunity for you to put more revenue in your pocket. But even better than more revenue is more monthly recurring revenue. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can profit off of Windows 10. And before you think, Harrison, I don't want to be one of those sleazy sales guys that just makes people feel pressure to get Windows 10. That is not happening in this video. So take that thought, throw it in the trash, because in this video, I'm going to share with you what you can do to truly make money, get more clients with this Windows 10 end of life happening. How are you doing? My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether it's sales training, marketing training, or even some business operations. Before I get into today's video, I do want to invite you to go over to growth-generators.com forward slash discord. So if you go to our website, growth-generators.com, you have our programs, the MSP Heroes, Launchpad, all that good stuff, right? But we have under the resources tab, our Discord. This Discord is well over 1,100 people. I, first of all, thank you to everyone that watches. Would have never guessed I would have gotten to 1,100 people. Absolutely mind-blowing. But truthfully, the coolest thing is it doesn't matter if you're starting an MSP, you're already an established MSP. There's MSPs well into the eight figures in there, all the way down to the young bucks just starting out. I jump in there every once in a while, so if you want to find me, I'm in there. You can ask for help, support, anything like that. It is truly probably the most active community on Discord, but not only that, it is an amazing, it's just truly an incredible place. So growth-generators.com forward slash Discord, there will be links down below. So let's talk about Windows 10 going end of life because it's happening, right? You search Windows 10 end of life, it's coming. October 14th, 2025. And yes, this video is a little time sensitive, but we have plenty of time. And if you go to their Microsoft website, Windows 10 end of or Windows 10 Home and Pro listing, start date 2015, end date October 14th, 2025. Five. It's a big thing in this industry because we all know the problem with this is the chipsets in the hardware. That's really the worst part about it. This is unlike most other things where when we went to Windows 7 to Windows 8 or 7 to 10, however you decided to deal with customers with completely outdated software systems, right? This is a very unique thing because you could just bring them over. Now you can't, right? So there are a metric ton of businesses out there that are on Windows 10. There's probably some on Windows XP, but for the most part, we're focusing on Windows 10 for this video, and they don't have a plan. So this brings two very unique opportunities for you as an MSP. You can upgrade them to Windows 11, assuming their hardware can support it. Now, if they can't support it, you have a huge opportunity to absolutely cash in on the hardware machine and sell them new hardware because most people can't go to Best Buy and get a Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11, right? Pro where it can be managed by AD and all that good stuff, right? It just, as far as I know, it can't happen. You could buy the software there, but or at least you used to be able to. I haven't been in a Best Buy truly in a long time and looked around, right? But the second part of this is also you now have a unique opportunity to talk to them about managed services and security offerings, right? We could talk about extended support, patch management, compliance, all of the good stuff. And MSPs who actually take action by the end of this video or just after they watch this video going to that October 14th deadline can lock in some new clients and lock in long-term contracts. Now, we don't know when any new upcoming end dates for anything impending, but this happens to be a really, really big one. So first thing that we need to do is we need to target the right client. 
It is the most important thing. If you don't have the buyer persona already from the website, you need to go get it. It is growth-generators.com. I think it's forward slash buyer persona, but if you go to the resources section, you scroll all the way down, you can grab it. It is completely free. You can download it now and grab it. You want to fill that out because we need to know who your ideal customer is. Yes, you can go around selling machines to anybody, but here's the thing. If they want you to work on them, you don't want to be tearing whatever hair you have left out because you're dealing with a bunch of different industries. Some industries have super strict compliance needs. I'm sure we all know HIPAA at this point, right? You have healthcare, finance, legal, accounting, whatever it is. But some of these clients have these needs. And if you're selling them the hardware, you can't just be like, here you go. Good luck. No, you have to set it up for them, right? So it opens up a lot of cool opportunities here. And there's also a lot of clients and, and businesses that are already struggling with their IT needs. Now they're all about to get hit with this Windows 10 end of life. And most businesses don't know what this means for them. Now, to be fully transparent, this is being thrown around a lot. There's a lot of businesses talking about this. I don't want to sugarcoat that. But what they don't understand is the impact on their business and the security the security opportunities, all of that, right? So you need to go through and start with a network audit. You have to see what's on the network and how many Windows 10 devices there are and God forbid Windows 7, XP, 8, whatever it is, right? We Hopefully they're on Windows 10 at least, right? And we have to identify, right, obviously, the machines that can't support Windows 11. That's it. There's a hardware requirement for it. I'm not going to go super deep into that. But that has to happen. You can now approach businesses, your ideal customer, and say, hey, look, I don't. I just want to let you know what's going to be happening and what the impacts of it could be on your business. Now, some of these businesses, depending on who you're going after, they might not rely that much on technology. But there is going to be a whole section of businesses that do rely on technology. And those are the businesses you really want to focus on. You want to find out, meet them, tell them about what's going on. And a great thing to do is offer them a free network assessment where you're going to identify those computers. And then guess what you're going to do after that? You're going to present a plan for them to get updated or upgraded in that case, depending on what it actually is. So we need to create an actual offer, right? We can't just say, hey, this thing is happening. Give us money and you're going to be good to go, right? We have to create a Windows 10 end of life upgrade offer. Truthfully, especially if it's a new customer, this is a very, very unique opportunity. And while I'm fairly confident, I'll see this again in my lifetime at some point, this is a rare one, right? So what I would personally recommend is kind of doing maybe plans or like a tiered type of system, right? Where kind of your package number one is upgrading or the whole, you could even sell them the whole package, right? You can upgrade existing PCs that are capable up to Windows 11. Now, obviously this is not the most work in the world, but hey, it still needs to be done. And we all know how many times things fail on a computer. So that's tier one, right? Tier two could be part of this package is, hey, look, we've identified all the machines that won't run Windows 10. Now we need to go through and replace these older machines with new hardware. Now, depending on how they're using their system, you may need to bring some data over. This is going to be laptops, desktops for the majority of this, right? And then tier three, depending on what industry this is, you may need to get involved and roll your sleeves up, right, for a full security slash compliance audit, Windows 10 goes end of life, you just broke all of the compliance as far as I know, right? But this also gives you the opportunity to kind of slip in a nice managed services agreement there. And if you do and you can work with this and you plan accordingly, you might even be able to offer financing options or lease agreements for these clients to make it easier for them. But you could have a one, two, kind of three package that now says, hey, by the way, 
we're going to do all these things. We're going to run an audit. We're going to upgrade all of your PCs that can upgrade. We're going to identify those PCs that can't upgrade. And then on top of that, we're going to go through, do a full security audit, and we're offer also offering our managed services kind of as the cherry on top, which is huge. So Harrison, how do we actually market this to our customers, right? I want the monthly recurring revenue. I want the hardware sales. How do I do this? I'm so glad you asked, but I'm only going to tell you if you just take one second and you hit the like button and you hit the subscribe button and you tell me, maybe I should grab more hair in the comments, leave a comment. You learn something great. That's even better. And for the OGs that wake up super early, watch my video as soon as it releases. I love you extra. I'm just saying that, right? The comments make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And I thank you for that. So how do we how do we turn this into how do we build leads from this? What is the marketing strategy attached to this? Right? Number 1, go the cheap route. Email campaigns. You're probably already out networking, talking to other people, all that good stuff. You're getting business cards. You should be talking to people, building that list and hopefully you're out and about, you put them into a system. We at Growth Generators have a membership called MSP Heroes where we provide a CRM for you. If you don't have a CRM, you should probably get one. I don't care if you use ours. I don't care if you go directly through Go High Level, although I will say if you use our affiliate link down below, it's appreciated. You can go to HubSpot, Active Campaign, dare I say Zoho, Udo, Glass Hive. The list goes on and on. They are a dime a dozen. I like what I like. You guys can like what you like. But it is important to know this. Now, the second part of this is... Once you make that, we want to use super catchy subject lines. Now, we don't want to just hammer these emails down their throat. It has to be strategically targeted, letting them know the value that you can provide, but also what's going to happen for their business. You can, and this is the one of the only times I'll ever say this. You could quite literally, if you don't believe me, check out all these resources. Boom, 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 boom. You post all of those, that builds up a ton of credibility, but you are the one that can lead them to success. Now, the second part of your marketing strategy, website content and lead magnets, creating a Windows 10 end of life checklist. We are quite literally building this for our members right now so they can steal it, right? Write blog posts, build a landing page on your website, especially gear it towards your target customer. So that way you can take this and run with it. Truly, people are going to end up on your website. Give them the opportunity to say, I'm interested in learning more, and they can hand it to you. They can hand you their contact information. That is a really good thing. Now, the third part of this is you could do cold outreach. This is something if you know your niche, reach out to businesses in your niche. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone. It's not going to bite you. I promise I'm on this thing all day long. It's only taking my hair. That's how we're doing it, all right? But you could call people. It's okay to cold call people. LinkedIn, DMing people. LinkedIn posts. Have conversations. Jump on podcasts if you can. Talk about what's actually happening because this is truly something that doesn't happen almost ever, right? This is such an infrequent problem that businesses have to deal with because it's a hardware issue, right? Obviously, you can go paid ads. I would say only go paid ads if you've taken care of everything else. You've built out the content. You know you have a funnel. You're offering some kind of downloadable, and you can convert Facebook or LinkedIn ads to your target market as far as marketing actually goes to bring those leads in. But once they come in, let's say it's all going good. Harrison, they're in. I got the contact information. We're almost home. If you're anything like me, I like to make a little extra money. We want to upsell some additional services. And this is where things can get really, really nice for you. Obviously, you're going to try to sell them your monthly recurring revenue. Obviously, you're going to try to sell them the hardware. But why not offer them? This is the time to have these conversations. Security and compliance. Hey, we'll do it for you. Or a security and compliance audit, whatever it is. Maybe implementing a WISP, a written information security protocol, right? That is, if I remember correctly, it's been a couple of days and my brain is going a million miles an hour, but these are things that businesses truly need, right? Sometimes, hey, if they haven't checked on or worked on security at all, 
It's a great time to offer this, letting them know, offering managed detection and response, endpoint security. The list can go on and on. Also, cloud migrations. In this case, there's probably going to be a lot of businesses that still have on-site servers. This is a huge opportunity to move them to the cloud on whatever platform you like. Most people are going to pick Azure or Office 365 or Microsoft 365, whatever your favorite flavor is of how you want to do it. And I only say that because no matter what we are talking about in the membership, somebody's like, well, I would do it this way. And it always, you know, everyone has their own thing. What you do versus the next guy is totally up to them. And if you're like Harrison, I can't do security. I, they're not buying the cloud migration. Uh, what else? They're not moving forward even with secure, with with a managed service plan. Offer a retainer, right? Lock them into a long-term agreement. Hey, you know what? You get an X amount of hours every single month. Get them into something. This is a huge shift that's about to happen. Most businesses are not ready for it, but it's you and your ability to communicate to them. Care more than the next competitor, and that is what's going to move you to success in this Windows 10 change. So I wish you nothing but the su most success with this. If you want kind of the cheat code, we're literally building it in the process, in the process of building it for you guys in MSP Heroes. If you're not, you might want to check it out. There will be a link down below, but leverage this Windows 10 thing. It is truly a unique opportunity, and you have approximately nine-ish months from the day that this is being released to completely change your business if you're starting a business to completely launching it, and if you have an established MSP, to adding a boatload of new customers. I love you guys. As always, like button, subscribe button, notification bell, leave a comment down below early, late, grow hair, whatever it is. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.